Welcome to Seven Report and our first look at the Coilmaster DIY kit. This is an all-in-one kit, a set of tools, just about everything you will need to wrap and rebuild your own coils, provided to us by our new friends at Coilmaster. It's got a lot of great stuff in here. I'm very eager to uh, start using this and wrapping and rebuilding coils and wicking and all that kind of stuff. Full disclosure here, I've not done a lot of that. Matter of fact, I've done very little of it. I've made some use of the uh, Mini RBA that comes with the Kanger Tech sub box and the sub tanks. Tried wicking some of those pre wrap coils that they include. I'm very eager to use this DIY kit from our friends at Coilmaster. So let's get a close up look and see all the things that are included in the DIY kit. So here's the Coilmaster DIY kit. Comes in this nice case with zippers to keep uh, everything nice and organized and nice and safe. Opens up nice and easily. It's kind of padded as well. Let's take a look at what's inside. First, this pouch. This is kind of the heart of uh, what's in the Coilmaster DIY kit. It's what Coilmaster refers to as their coiling kit. And you may have heard it referred to as a jig. Um, and these are each sized individually for specific types of wire and sizes of coils that you want to do. Let me see if I can get that to come into focus here. So the little holder for it is sized and this is going to be tougher to see but on the end engraved in that stainless steel is the same number. So you get the 10 and the 25 and let me get to the uh, I haven't taken even all of these out of the little individual bags that they come in to keep them together. But that's what this pouch is for. And since they're labeled on both sides, you don't have to worry too much about them coming apart inside the case. Comes with a little screwdriver as well. And this comes apart like that. And let's see. Can you see? Take one of these out. This is the number 10, the one we had. And you put it through here. Let me do that again for you so you can actually see it. We'll get a much more detailed look at how you operate the jig. But I actually have some wire and we're wrapping a coil. Then this screws right onto here. And then this little hole there is where you would slide your canthal through there. Then this part, this little metal part here, catches that wire. Oh, there we go. And so you spin it and it wraps and as you get it wrapped it sort of pushes it out a little bit. It makes it very easy from what I'm told, because I've not used it yet, to get nice, even, uniform, tightly wrapped coils. So that is the as Coilmaster refers to it, the coiling kit or the jig. Make sure you get all the pieces that go in there back into this little packet or into this little pouch. Then you also have your Coilmaster ohms meter and that measures volts and resistance. And it, of course, it's showing nothing right now because there's nothing attached to it. But it takes uh, two AA batteries to operate it. Nice little plastic parts case to keep everything together. You see, in anticipation of getting some Canthal, I already have one of the Kanger Tech Mini RBAs in there that I will be hopefully wicking and uh, also wrapping some coil for. Oh, it's, and I actually even have the coil, the uh, cotton in there too. Got some nice scissors to trim your excess cotton once you've got a coil built and you're ready to wick it. What's this? Elbow tweezers to help you pull that cotton through the coil and get it adjusted just right. There's another set of tweezers that I think is a very cool idea. It has ceramic tips so that you can adjust your coil 
as it fires without worrying about shortening it out or shorting yourself out so you can make sure that it's firing and burning just right heating up just right nice and uniformly and then you have and these fit in there real snug they're not going to fall out too easily let's see if i can get it to That's a fairly solid pair of needle nose pliers with a little spring on there. And then you have the, what they refer to as the flush cut pliers or the wire clippers to trim your coil. Once you've got it attached to your deck, put these back. And then finally you have a pen style screwdriver kit with all of the uh, well there's some more down in there too all the different heads you're gonna need several different sizes of Phillips and some straight edge will this come undone we're just gonna have to well there are some more down in there it's gonna take a moment to get them out and that's the uh, the complete kit Nice looking, solid tools. Looks like they're well built from Coilmaster. All part of their DIY kit. Again, we want to thank our new friends at Coilmaster for providing this for us to get a look at. And we will be coming back with a full review. And we'll let you know about that. Let's go back up top and wrap this up, shall we? So there it is, our first look at the Coilmaster DIY kit. Really a good looking little set of tools in there. I'm very eager to get using them, uh, get some wire, wrap some coils, put them inside of uh, a mini RBA from Kanger Tech that comes with the uh, sub box mini. Put some cotton in it, fire it up and see how it works. Come back with a full review in just a few days on this. Hopefully just a few days, hopefully I'll have it not mastered, at least figured out enough that I'm not embarrassed showing it to you on camera. Uh, thanks again to our friends at Coilmaster for supplying the Coilmaster DIY kit for us to take a look at. We'll have a link in the description section of this video on YouTube and at the bottom of the article on our website, 7report.com, to Coilmaster, where you can find out more and order the Coilmaster DIY kit. If you follow 7Report on Twitter or Facebook, we'll notify you that way when the full review is live on the website and on YouTube. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out the rest of our website too, 7report.com. You do need to spell out the word 7. A lot of great hardware and e-juice reviews. We update both the YouTube channel and the website all the time. So please do keep coming back and embrace the vape.